If you live in the United States, chances are you have noticed some Goodwill locations around. It is a nonprofit organization that offers various services, the most well known being thrift stores that sell donated items like clothes, furniture, electronics, and other miscellaneous items. There is also a website called shopgoodwill.com. Have you noticed that your local Goodwill doesn't have expensive electronics and other more valuable items anymore? It's likely because of this website, which is based around auctioning off items online, similar to eBay. Every now and then you can find some weird items on here, and some that caught my eye were these bulk SD cards and flash drives. The descriptions all say that they are formatted, but I wasn't quite sure if I believed that. Was it possible that some data could be recovered from these cards and drives? Well, let's take a look and find out. After doing some bidding, I got a hold of the items. First things first, I have a spare Windows 10 PC that is not connected to my home network. This is an important step to prevent any malware, ransomware, or any kind of other wear from getting access to my network. For viewing the data on these cards, I have a cheap multi-memory card reader and an SD to micro SD adapter. As for data recovery software, I decided to go with Ray's data recovery. It seemed pretty cheap at $35, that's around the cost of 6 whoppers. I also heard good things about it from Reddit. That being said, there are free tools and techniques to attempt data recovery with, but I'm not super knowledgeable on the intricacies of data forensics. So as I started to check the SD cards, I noticed that they are all indeed formatted, but there's an important distinction to make in regard to formatting a storage device, in that it doesn't necessarily wipe all of the data from the device. Formatting only allows data to overwrite other data that was marked as no longer wanted, but is still present on the disk. I don't want to get into the weeds on this, since I would basically be reading directly from a Wikipedia article if I wanted to actually explain it, so check out the description below to find that Wikipedia article and see how it all works. Anyways, as I started to run the various SD cards through Rays, files started appearing. For the most part, the files were images and audio, which is likely because most of these were probably used in mobile phones and cameras, which used micro SD cards. Out of all of the SD cards, I would say around half of them had some kind of photo, audio, or video data on them that was recoverable to some extent, although some of the cards were entirely empty or had failed and nothing could be pulled from them. I was wondering to myself, is this an ethical thing to do? Should I be rooting around in other people's data and lives? Would they want these photos back? What was the reason these SD cards wound up in the Goodwill in the first place? I don't really know. All of this is to say that you should probably be wary as to where your data is if you value it. Now, obviously, out of respect to the individuals that previously owned these devices, I am not going to show any faces or personal information, but I did find this part of the process to be interesting. There is a high chance that these files are the only copies of this data that exists right now. Looking through other people's lives and their vacations, family, friends, and all the times that they had that were worth taking a photo of is a weird feeling. These aren't just random Polaroid photos that were found in a box somewhere. These are a collection of images that contain the exact time these photos were taken. Some are newer, some are around a decade old. While many of the images are corrupted from the data recovery process, many other ones have the exact same file integrity as they did years ago. Moving on to the flash drives, it turns out that someone actually wiped these things appropriately. I was not able to find any residual data on these, which is probably for the best. That brings me to my next point. The thing about Goodwill is that they operate in different regions of various states. I'm not too sure of the specifics of how they are hierarchically structured, but it seems that they have varying standards and procedures. And boy oh boy, did some have varied standards and procedures. For example, I got the SD cards from the Goodwill Industries of Inland Northwest. That is to say that they were listed on shopgoodwill.com, but they were sent from that specific branch. On their website, they say they accept electronics, but they don't mention anything in regard to the formatting of storage devices. The flash drives were from the Goodwill of Central and Southern Indiana, they don't mention formatting either, but they obviously have a more rigorous process to clear any existing data on the drives before listing them online. Out of curiosity, it looks like some other Goodwill regions list their hard drive wiping processes. This one makes a direct reference to a Department of Defense standard for wiping donated hard drives. 
My question basically boils down to whose responsibility should it be to ensure that no data is recoverable on these storage devices. I think that both parties probably could have been a bit more cautious. It's really easy to toss a whole bunch of stuff you don't use anymore to a Goodwill, including phones and cameras, but there is an element of risk in regard to personal identifiable information being exposed, sensitive images, and other potential risks when you don't clear the device you are giving away. At the same time, Goodwill is reselling these items as formatted. While all the storage devices were technically formatted, some were not overwritten, and data could be recovered from them. So for an educational bit, we will take a quick look at how to actually wipe one of these SD cards. Take notes, Goodwill. There are different tools available for Windows, Mac, and Linux to do this, but we'll just do one through Windows for now. As you can see, Raze has seen some data files that were on this card that I got from Goodwill. So with PowerShell, we can run a basic command. It is called Cypher. We're gonna use the W flag on it. Now this takes a little bit, and I'm not sure if it's the fastest way to do it, but it seems to do the job. Essentially, it's gonna fill the entire drive with data that is all zeros, then all ones, and then random numbers. So now if we take a look at it with Raze again, there are no more files available, so it overwrote all of the data that was still on the drive. This should be good enough to make data recovery impossible, but then again, I'm not a data forensics expert, so take that with a grain of salt. So to wrap the video up, I want to clarify that I would not recommend attempting this. When you start sifting through other people's files and data, you run the risk of coming across illicit material. And I'm not trying to be facetious either. According to Best Buy's Geek Squad program, they come across child pornography inadvertently nearly 100 times a year. This is without even trying to look for it. Now in my case, luckily none of the cards contained any of this material, but I was ambivalent the whole time. You never know what you're going to come across. Uh, so anyways, I hope you learned something new, and please wipe your hard drives before getting rid of them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.